right, so this is an alligator lizard. Found him up at about, what is this, 9,000 feet? Sure. Oh, that didn't sound very uh, confident. Sure, it's 9,000. 8,500. 8, yeah, 8, that sounds good. It's about 8,500 feet. So, uh... These guys can be found out in the mountain ranges in the Sierras. So it's not technically the Mojave Desert, but you can't find them on the outskirts of the Mojave Desert. These guys will grow about close to a foot from uh, snout to tail. This uh, one's about eight or nine inches, so it's an adult. The um, thing with the alligator lizards is they definitely can be um, a little mean. They'll They'll try to bite you. There he goes. These are a diurnal lizard and they will feed on pretty much insects. Um, but they can uh, occasionally eat something that's maybe really small, maybe a pinky mouse, something like that. They happen to get into a nest. So they could do that. As far as what would eat them out here, since we're above 8,000 feet, not too many uh, rattlesnakes up here. There are timber rattlers in this area, but I think we're at a high enough elevation where the timber rattlers are not found. So as far as what would eat them would consist of probably a bobcat, um, birds of prey. Um, that's pretty much about it. So this is the alligator lizard. All right, so at first I thought I got a new one, but I don't think it is. Let's see if I can get him out here. Just a little guy. There he is. Now at first, I saw the ring around his neck and I thought, man, is that a you know, baby collar lizard? Because that's what I'm looking for. But it's not. What this is, I believe, is a young spiny lizard. Which I've already caught the adult yellow spiny lizard. So I'm not going to really do too much of a video on this guy. But uh, you can find him in the rocks. You can see the rocks behind me. He was uh, sunning himself. Uh, they do bite even, even when they're little. But pretty, pretty little guy, so let him go here. Right, so here's a really tiny lizard that I actually found when I was working. Kicked over a cone and he was up underneath the cone. This is a Mediterranean gecko. Right away you can, you know that it's a gecko by the pads on its feet and its eyes. You can pretty much tell right away. Um, the way that I knew that it's a Mediterranean gecko is actually by the tail. It's got kind of bands on the tail. Now this is a this is a uh, juvenile and so the bands on the tail will be a lot brighter than the adults. The adults will be uh, less uh, le will have less banding or appearance of less banding and kind of fade away throughout the life of the lizard. Um, these guys can get to about four or five inches if you include the tail from nose to tail. So definitely a, a juvenile. They come out at night, um, will pretty much be in shelter during the day, and then once the night hits, they'll, they'll crawl up on the wall and uh, maybe been underneath a light and kind of wait for you know little insects to, to come around, ants or little flying insects. Um, and that's kind of how they um, go about surviving and, and feeding on stuff. The thing about these guys is actually when uh, when they're uh, get a little when he gets a little older um, and will will fight for um, territory the males actually make a squeaking sound like a mouse would make uh, when they when they fight so that's kind of interesting about these little guys now I did not expect to find this out here in the Mojave um, they are not natural to this area they are an alien species they are from the Mediterranean and Africa area um, but they have been uh, introduced actually throughout the entire United States. There's a lot of different areas. Um, I looked up actually what areas there that they're found in. I have a list here. Got Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. So they are found throughout the United States a lot, but it's kind of, uh, you know, those states is not all over that state, it's just kind of selected areas, little pockets. Um, so 
anyway that that's kind of a, a cool little find here all right this little lizard here is a western fence lizard otherwise known as the blue belly that's what a lot of people call them um, it's a very common name for them because they have uh, a little bit of blue you can definitely see on the neck but they typically have blue on the belly um, especially in the males the males will be really really blue have a really blue belly so this one is a female and I can kind of tell that because of the lack of, of blue on the belly it's not as bright as the males usually are um, and the males tend to be a little bit darker in color as well as she's kind of a lighter brownish color but these these little lizards now this one's uh it's not a juvenile but it's not an adult it's kind of a, a teenager if you will they can get bigger than this about probably two times as big as this even a little bigger um, occasionally but they'll, they'll get uh, between four and six inches in, in length from uh, nose to tail the western fence lizards are found in the Mojave not as uh, prevalent as in the foothills uh, of the mountains around the Mojave so not technically in the Mojave but definitely around it but um, they tend to be in the hills and higher elevations than actually in the desert these lizards are strictly diurnal come out during the day they don't really come out at night um, they're, the defense that this lizard has and it's really limited is they can drop their tail that's about it they, they can bite and actually when I caught this one he, she kind of lifted her mouth like she was gonna bite but totally was just fake you know didn't didn't try to bite me at all and even if she did bite me it wouldn't hurt the tiniest little bit these lizards are insectivorous go after insects spiders little things that they can overpower um, they're not a very big lizard so that's about it there is one really cool characteristic about these lizards they have a protein in their blood that kills bacterium from ticks and in areas where these lizards are not found there tends to be a higher Lyme disease rate which is kind of interesting so you kind of want these guys around it kills the bacteria from the ticks that can cause Lyme disease so that's a really really neat characteristic that these lizards have because a lot of times ticks will be on on lizards lizards and snakes um, and so if that's the case on these guys they have a special protein that that kills that bacterium so I'll let this guy go here this girl go here and uh, let her go on her way